uh, from Abuja is uh, Honorable Commissioner, Ministry of Information and Strategy, uh, Damawa State, Ahmed Sajo. Good morning and thanks for joining us on the show. Good morning and thank you very much. All right, let's begin with the uh, allegation or the statement actually coming from uh, Dr. Mahmoud Halilu, who was on our show on Wednesday. He actually said that uh, Jibril Abindo does not uh, have the requisite educational qualification uh, to govern uh, Damawa State. Uh, give us clarity on that. No, that is, uh, if, if anybody thinks that anyone does not have a qualification to hold office, uh, the place to go is the court of law. It's not that, I mean, uh, educational qualifications for holding office is a constitutional matter, it's a legal matter, it's not a matter for people to bandy in the media. So, so if he thinks for any reason that the governor is not qualified to hold office and he held the office of a senator in the past, he is now the governor, let him go to court. We, we, are, we are not going to take him on that, that is too trivial. That is too, too mundane. That's not uh, the issue now at stake. Right. Uh, Mahmoud Ahmed appealed, has now appealed to the leadership of the party to nullify the election mm. and disqualify what he called the purported winner, uh, uh, Governor Jabril Bindo, who happens to be your principal. Uh, and he's given some reasons here. He says mm. the whole exercise, uh, referring to the primary election, violated the guidelines and should be cancelled in the interest of justice, yeah. internal democracy, and the progress of the APC. Precisely, he is making reference to the fact that the National Working Committee had banned the executive, the state executive of the party, but they still played a relevant role in the just concluded primary. How do you react to that? First and foremost, you know, it's not, it's not in the position of any of uh, the parties to a contest to determine whether the contest was conducted in a free and fair manner. It is for the umpire, and if the umpire declares that it's a free and fair contest, there is nothing any of the parties can do. But if you think you are not satisfied, you, have an, you can go for an arbiter. An arbiter in this case is either the National Working Committee or, in fact, they can go to court again. You know, so, so, so the, the thing is that it's not in our position to say whether it was free or fair. A, a credible committee sent by the National Working Committee of the party went to Adamawa State. Uh, the people are very, very credible. The people are, are people of integrity. They came and conducted it according to the rules. And, 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 and that is all about democracy. Democracy is about conducting the affairs of uh, the democratic institutions in a manner that follows the rule of law. They uh, came, set out the rules for us, and we all follow the rules. And, and, and so if anybody is disputing that, he's not disputing it with us. He's disputing with the empire. We are not the empire. But, uh, I mean, two and, of the, and, and, two and, and of the contenders, honestly. two yeah. of the contenders, including, of course, uh, Nohu Ribadu, former EFCC chairman, also had issues with the uh, process, not necessarily the outcome. Uh, according to them, uh, the, the, the committee chairman, the electoral committee chairman, had actually asked that that uh, primary should be put on hold. Uh, but it went on at about 7 p.m. in the night without security, according to them. Uh, there were no INEC officials there. And, of course, it held in primary schools and secondary schools in areas where that were not even designated in the first place for that primary uh, to hold. Uh, I wonder what uh, you think. Uh, uh, would you say that really was a good process that would uh, engender confidence in not that, only that, the other contestants, is, but everybody? But, but, but that is absolutely untrue. Uh, that is absolutely untrue. And that is not fair. And, 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 and I, I think uh, we, we, we need to go a little bit uh, back to understand what really happened. Mm -hmm. These two contestants mm -hmm. had uh, complained incessantly over uh, the process right from the start, the start of it. They, they complained about the first committee came, that came. They complained about the chairman. They complained about the party executives. They complained about venue. They complained about virtually everything. And every of their complaint was carried out to the extent that even they complained about the leadership of security. That too was, was, uh, was, was taken care of. So everything they have complained about had been taken care of. This process was conducted in the manner, in the most democratic manner that the, the process should have been conducted. Let me tell you, 
you know, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm being very honest here. Yeah. You know, the plank, the platform upon which the entire contest of uh, these other two contestants was uh, premised is the one that was wrong. They, 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 they came with uh, a, 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 a discussion in, in, in a public space alleging that the governor has done nothing. And then the people began to see that, look, they were not actually attacking the governor, but they were attacking the people who were the beneficiaries. A governor that had constructed about 397 roads in 16 local governments within the past three years, and you, 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 you just wake up one early morning and say he has done nothing. A governor that has reconstructed, rehabilitated and reconstructed about seven general hospitals, two of which were completely bombed down by Boko Haram. A governor that has returned is, g g institutional governors in seven local governments that were occupied by, local go by, 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 by Boko Haram. A governor that, was, that is, has been able to, to establish 403 primary health care centers that are operating 24 hours, that the World Bank are judged as the second best in the country. You just wake up in the morning and you assault the people with uh, stories that he has done nothing. Mm -hmm. A governor that has rehabilitated over, over 400 schools and is still doing so. And you just wake up one early morning and you just tell the world that he has done nothing. I mean, the people just woke up. The if, people just rose. If I may just uh, right to be button very quickly, Ahmed. To be served. This discussion yeah. has very little to do with the performance of the incumbent. It's mm. about the process well, so it has. It of has. your I have parties. Heard, I have had a discussion. The you process of your parties. I have had a discussion with you. And that, and that was the plank of everything they, have, they, 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 they were talking about. Okay, let me just ask this very quickly. Uh, you have mentioned several in yes, this interview yeah. that um, if certain parties have grievances, there's a due Go process. Are you not concerned about the unity of the party ahead an election? Uh, the fact that everyone has to be on the same page. We're looking at the former AFCC chairman. We're we, looking we, at mm. um, uh, uh, the other man we, who spoke with the other yeah, day. What is, what is your principal doing to get them what, what, on the what, side? What, 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 what I want you to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I want you to understand is that our, our, our position has always been and will always be uh, a, a position that uh, advances the best interests of the people of Adama State. And uh, we're calling on whoever contested with our principal to come and join us in, 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 in putting the interests of the people at the forefront, at the front banner of all discussions, of all uh, contests, of, of all attempts to, to, to advance the kind of leadership that, the, that will work for the people. We are saying we have worked for the people. We're still working for the people. We're providing governance. And, and, and so come and join us. Yes, we have con you have contested with us. But uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his infinite mercy had decided that we, our, our principal is supposed to be the, the, the winner. And he won. And, 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 and so it is uh, to the glory of God Almighty that we need to work together to serve our people. So our concern is uh, my principal... Uh, uh, His Excellency Senator Muhammad Omar Jibril Abindo had always been reconciliatory, even in victory. These are the things he said. He just mentioned three things. He, gave, he, he, he thanked God Almighty for making it possible for him to emerge victorious. He, he, he called on the other contestants to join hands with him so that we can build a house together and confront other parties. And then yes. he promised the people that uh, he still has a subsistence mandate, he will continue to discharge that mandate until the last day of the mandate. We yes, you, you, you seem to be... Mandate. We still have a mandate. You seem to be extending the olive branch already to both uh, gentlemen, uh, Dr. Mahmoud Halilu and uh, Nuhu Ribadu, but they're still very much aggrieved. They are saying that this process should be cancelled because it was nothing but fake and fictitious and you're saying that they should you know come along and join you no, I, yeah how what are you doing saying, what will you do to assuage their concerns at least for them to you know come on board with you we will not we will, we will not we will not join issues we will not join issues with them in con in discussing uh, the process or the outcome because we were not the umpires I am saying that mm. it is the umpire, the, the committee that was sent, the committee that superintended the, uh, the, the, the process, that should take responsibility for the credibility of the process. We are not the ones that superintended over the, the, the primaries. Yes, so we do we understand that. We are victorious, 
Yeah. And, and in victory, and in victory, we are magnanimous enough to say, look, the, the, the contest is over. Let's come together. Yeah, we but the victory, this victory, this victory has been people losing and accepting that they have lost. This victory has been questioned, and that's that's why we we are asking the question: I, How concerned are and, you and that this crisis? Uh, you know, could actually negatively impact on the, the fortunes of the party, uh, both in Adamawa State, in the governorship election, and of course the presidential election, seeing that an Adamawa son will be, you know, uh, contending or contesting this, uh, the presidential election come 2019. We have we're, we're, we're respect for every contestant, but we, 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 have, uh, we have a clear, you know, uh, clear position that we, 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 we've taken in this matter. We have, we have a clear understanding of uh, the issues concerned. We, uh, we are in APC. We are an APC government. Uh, senator Muhammad Umaru Jibrila Bindo was one of the very first persons who was a senator of the Federal Republic to register as, uh, an, an, uh, with the APC at, this, at the onset of uh, the establishment of the APC. He understands that uh, the APC family is the family where he belongs to politically. And, and, and uh, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammadu, uh, Muhammadu Buhari, is the president of this country. He's the presidential candidate of the APC. He has done so, so tremendously well for us in Adama State that marketing him will not be difficult against anybody in Adama State. Mm. We, 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 we've been liberated from the occupation of Boko Haram. We've been liberated from insecurity. We, we, are, we, are, we, we have seen a lot of projects, road projects, ongoing by the federal government in our state. We have seen the social investment program impact very, very positively on the lives of the people. So we already have a candidate that uh, we will market very well, and we, we are loyal party members. We have no, we have, we have no fears at all. Okay. We understand exactly where we're heading to. We understand what we, in, what we are supposed to do. And, right. and, 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 and the next phase mm. for us is to reunite the party, to regalvanize the party, to, do, do, to, 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 to go out and mobilize the people. Honorable house Commissioner. To house, street to street, room to room, and we will, we will emerge victorious, inshallah. I would love to get your reaction to this very quickly. Uh, it's the question of how yes, loyal sir. your principal is mm. to um, the administration of President Mohamed Buhari. There's a lot of story about how your principal had said at some point that mm. um, the PDP P candidate P now Antico? had sponsored his yeah. election in 2015. There's a similar perception that Governor Jibril Abindo mm -hmm. is more loyal to uh, Atiku Abubakar, then uh, Muhammadu Buhari, what are your thoughts along this line, precisely? N no, I, 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 and, and I think, again, you are not getting it right. You, you are not getting it right. We, we, in 2014, you know, you know Muhammadu Umar Jibril Abindo is the only governor that has gone through two primaries before his election. In 2014, there was a primary election in APC, then... Uh, former Vice President Atiku Abakar was in APC. He put forward a candidate. We defeated that candidate in, in, in the primaries. That primaries, we started campaigns, and then the court nullified uh, the process and appointed uh, somebody as governor. We waited. In 2015, again, there was a primary election. In that primary election, Atiku Abubakar put forward an, uh, a candidate again. That candidate was defeated by us again. And, 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 and so my principal defeated uh, Atiku's candidate twice. Then, the, the, then, you know, in the spirit of one party, Atiku came and said, okay, we are one party. Let's put uh, our house together. We agreed, and, 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 and we were moving together. And today, he said he has left our party. He has gone to PDP. Well, thank God uh, we, we, we were still in APC. And because we are still in APC, APC is our, is, uh, the, the APC presidential candidate is our president is, uh, and is our presidential candidate. And there's mm. no question of loyalty. Our loyalty is to our party. Our loyalty is uh, to the leadership of our party. Our loyalty is to the leadership of the country. Our loyalty is to the people of Adama State. And whatever the people of Adama State decide to do, that's what we are going to do. And today, the people of Adama State overwhelmingly said we should remain in a be resolute in promoting APC, in promoting the ideals of APC, in promoting candidates of APC okay. from the president down to the House of Assembly. And we're going to go, we're going to do that. And that is where our loyalty lies. 
All right. Uh, very uh, uh, interesting development there. What you're saying, in other words, is that there will be absolutely no conflict of who to decide for, who to support uh, on the part of Bindo uh, for there's... 2019 election, in spite of the fact that there's been this no, no... loyalty in the past. Okay. There is no room for conflict. There is even okay. no basis. There is mm. no basis. We already have. We already have a president. We, we we already have a presidential candidate. We have a president. We have a party, and we're willing, ready, and prepared to to, to promote our party at all levels mm. and to all levels. And we we, we okay. we're, we're going to do yeah. that. And we've been doing that, and we'll continue yeah. to do that. Okay, I just uh, wanted yeah. to know just a minute mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. precisely how confident you are about the chances of your party, uh, given the fact that, um, just like um, Ungaza said earlier, that the PDP candidate is from a Damar state. Yes. Uh, um, well, I, 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 you, you, you want me to tell you the truth? Absolutely. You want me to tell you the truth? Yes, nothing but you, the you truth. See, you see, our people, the people of Adamawa state, from these primaries, they have shown uh, that they are prepared you know to defend good governance we have provided them good governance we have provided them dividends of democracy in a very practical and you, you know visible way and they are prepared to go with that and mm. so we have no fear whatsoever that what uh, president muhammad buhari has done to the people of adama state what Senator Mohamed Omar Jibrila Bindo has done to the people of Adama State, he are enough planks, enough platforms for us to ride on and sell our candidatures and win the elections. Okay. These are the that, basic that's things. That's a point that... The basic things it, are that the people get the governance they mm, desire mm. and they, they support that governance process and they go with you and they're going with us inshallah. you've already made that very clear but are you concerned about president former president Olusha Gobasanjo's uh latest endorsement of uh, his former vice Atiku Abaka there's something we have learned from our principal senator Muhammad Umaru Jibrila Bindo mm. uh, and that thing is that we respect our elders whatever uh, uh, President Olusegun Obasanjo decides to do. Uh, he is a respected elder statesman. He is, uh, he is entitled to whatever he is supposed to do. Uh, we are not going to question uh, issues that have to do with either consistency or inconsistency, but we know that uh, uh, it is more honorable for, 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 for us to continue to remain consistent in, in our political positions. Okay. Uh, you know, the people of this country are no longer uh, the kind of people that we led in the past. Uh, today, the people are enlightened, the people are focused, the people understand issues themselves. So if we, at a position of leadership of this country, begin to vacillate from left to right, we should not expect that we'll be carrying the people along with us as it's we are right. I am sure, and, 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 and I understand that the people will decide uh, you know, based on their conviction, it's not all right. based on either endorsement. Or, I think or that whatever. you you made your points known yeah. very clearly. Ahmed mm. Sado is honourable commissioner uh, of the Ministry of um, Information, of Information, yes, and Strategy. strategy. Thank mm. you for joining us and sharing and your strategy. thoughts on this development. Thank you very much.